Hello, Soul Fam. This is Renee Asiri coming to you live. I can't believe it's mid-July. We have a lot of creative energy. Thanks to the new moon in Cancer last week, we're done with eclipse season. Can I get an amen? I don't know about you, but it has been a rough couple of months, especially with Mercury. Normally, uh, Mercury being in Gemini would be a good transit, but we've been in opposition and squaring um, Neptune, and so that's caused a lot of confusion, a lot of misinformation. Um, a lot of catfishing <laughs> on Facebook and dating apps and various things. So we've just been in this kind of confusion and haze for the last couple and a half months. And I'm so excited to report that that has been lifting this week because Mercury is newly in the sign of Cancer, which is a very compassionate sign, which is a very empathetic sign, a very nurturing sign. We had the new moon in Cancer last week. And that was a total emotional reset for us. Not to mention that there was these really, really powerful energies coming in in planet. A lot of us that go through the ascension symptoms, whether it's feeling fatigued or headaches or kind of sick, feeling sick like flu-like symptoms because you have to almost, um, how do I say, you're, you're up-leveling from the inside out. So what happens is you get sick because it's like on a cellular level you are purging kind of lower density um, energy that no longer serves you. Because whenever you have, this is what ascension is, guys, the physical body is going through ascension because your consciousness is already elevated, right? But when you're going through ascension symptoms, it means that when you have this higher level energy coming in on the planet, it's almost like, you know, cleaning out a dirty engine. It's like a gush of water and it just like pushes all the dirt out. So that's what happens when you have higher frequency energy coming into your energy field in your body through the ascension process is it removes any dirt. You purge all these lower frequency densities and energies like you know, fear or lack of trust or, um, you know, whatever it is, you're basically purging those energies, right? Uncertainty, you're purging those darker kind of lower energies, guilt, people pleasing, things like that, all those patterns that we need to let go of, right? And then you're purging that out and you're elevating and raising your frequency. So sometimes we get sick during the ascension process because our body is literally transforming on a cellular level, not just on an energetic level. Level, right so um, this is not for the faint of heart guys and it is definitely an ongoing process it's interesting because there's a lot of creative energies right now going going on and it you know I've been taking advantage of been cooking a lot so I invite you to do the same I've been painting furniture because not only do I love to transform people's lives but I love to transform furniture and houses and things like that it's a great time to be writing that book or, or journaling so I would highly recommend that you use these Cancerian energies you know, uh, for, for creative reasons, especially you have Mercury in Cancer um, and it is trining. And whenever you hear the word trine, that's a positive aspect. It's positive energies and it's trining Jupiter in Pisces. And as you know, Jupiter is the planet of good luck, expansion and growth. And it is in Pisces, which is a very intuitive spiritual planet. So it's a really good time for us to take advantage of, you know, nurturing communication, empathic communication, creative communication and then you have mercury which is the planet of intellect thinking communication um, in cancer which is a very nurturing um, emotional sign so right now uh, it's not a logical energy but it's definitely a creative energy so I fully fully would take advantage of that and it's really interesting because this whole trine situation also when you have mercury and cancer trining um, Jupiter it's like this very expansive energy it's a chance to kind of do some soul searching and really get some perspective as especially after the last couple and a half months where, you know, two and a half months where we've been kind of in this very foggy space, very confusing space. There's been a lot of, you know, scammers and misinformation. It's kind of hard to know what's real and what's not. So to come out of that storm and that fog um, and, and into this kind of really refreshing energy where it's really expansive, where you're able to look at your life for at least the last six months, at least since the, you know, the that eclipse in December, and Sagittarius or even further down until really look at your life in a more expansive way and you know and kind of say wow like 
I'm gaining some perspective, you know, about the patterns in my life, the people in my life, the roles they played, things like that, who I was. I feel like in a lot of ways, guys, with this new paradigm shift that we're embarking on, um, that we've been trying to uh, bring into fruition for the last few months, we're becoming a new person. It's almost like Feel Good said this really great um, analogy where we're like almost like an Etch-a-Sketch and like the universe has been shaking us to be kind of like empty and that's kind of how I feel. So hit me up in the comments, um, like, share, share this video if it resonates with you and people you know in your tribe uh, to spread the word. But essentially that's kind of how I've been feeling is I've been feeling really kind of empty because you know it's always like all those old identities, all those old patterns. So if you were somebody who had weak boundaries, which a lot of empaths do, um, or people that want to see the best in people, you have weak boundaries and now it's time to let go of the weak boundaries, let go of the people pleasing, um, you know, let go of those kind of like old patterns of being who people want you to be. Let go of not saying no um, when you, you know, and saying yes to yourself, right? Let go of fear, let go of uncertainty of the future, let go of really victim consciousness. A lot of us, honestly, I feel like the last few months have been an exercise in us letting go of our old identity as a victim and really kind of stepping into our power and saying, you know what? I am sovereign. I can think for myself. I can critically think for myself even though the systems are designed to think for me <laughs> since birth um, and indoctrinate me into a certain um, you know way of thinking and socialize me to just follow the rules interestingly enough um, you know I find it very fascinating that you know and honestly, whether you chose to get vaxxed or not, that's up to you, right? As a sovereign being, you make your own decisions. We all think for ourselves. But ultimately, I find it very interesting that now they're, the government wants to, in the U.S., knock on doors to convince us to take the vax, even though there's been a lot of public outcry about the negative effects of it. A lot of young people are getting um, strange blood diseases and large hearts, issues with their brain tissue and lung tissue, etc. Um, and there's even been studies you know, um, people analyzing the Pfizer formula and saying that it's, you know, 99.9 .9 poisonous and toxic. So again, we're all big boys and girls and we make up our own mind. But I find it really interesting that with all these things coming out, all the, the public being very open about the negative side effects of the vax, um, yet the government wants everybody to get it. <laughs> I find that very, very interesting. Um, that we can't think for ourselves and that we need the government to tell us what is good for our bodies. Which brings me back to Britney Spears because I think she is, um, you know, the microcosm of the macrocosm, the fact that she hasn't been able to make medical decisions for herself um, or her body or decide whether she wants to get pregnant or not and has to be forced to have an IUD in her body. So I think she's definitely representative of the collective of us being held hostage by the powers that be, um, you know, and just being told what to do for our health and our bodies. So I am simply asking you to um, make up your own mind, do your own research, and ultimately you make the decision for yourself and not being coerced and controlled and manipulated into a decision that is external outside yourself. And I think that's how we've been tested. Um, last year was all about um, the Saturn, right? Like the restrictions and the lockdowns and, you know, all that. Um, and you know, we were being forced to basically not have any freedom. And then this year it's all about the Saturn um, square Uranus, which is making change, even though we're being pressured to stay in the past and to be under the control of the government systems and all that, but us wanting to break free um, and be sovereign. And so I think these themes cosmically are testing us as a collective and ultimately, um, you know, you standing in your power as a soul is something you can take with you um, not in just this lifetime, but any of your incarnations. And so I strongly invite you to be here, to shine your light, um, to do what you came here to do, that soul mission that you came here to do at this time, because we chose to incarnate during these um, Kali Yuga, very dark times, and it is dark times indeed, um, where we've been restricted, our freedom's been taken away, basically, and, you know, we've been told, like, you need to take this vax for you to not wear a mask or for you to be able to go dancing again, um, and so we were kind of being forced <laughs> to do things against our will just so we are able to actually live a normal life, whatever normal is. And I have to be honest with you, I feel like I've been really diving deep with the collective energy and frequency. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, it's really felt like 
very strange like we're not we're not quite back to normal yet guys it's interesting i went to this um you know uh country saloon on saturday and these you know there was dancing and everything like that but it was just a bizarre situation because a lot of us have just not used to being in such close proximity with each other we're not used to not having our mask we're not used to touching each other and dancing um, and honestly, it's just bizarre. I feel like the collective is still not used to life as we once have known it. Um, and it's gonna take us some time to really adjust, right? To, um, to everything we've been through and continue to go through. But um, these are very, very interesting times and we chose to be here. So we're not victims of what's going on. Um, and I think it's really important for us to uh, choose to make choices for ourselves instead of letting other people choose for us. And I know that some people would rather the government or other people choose for them because it's just too hard to think for ourselves. But I really invite you to make decisions for yourself and take advantage of these energies um, and really take a perspective at your life and look at the lessons that you've learned, right? Because time is not linear. Um, and so it's really important for you to know who you were, who you're becoming, where you're headed, what you want to manifest. And, and I find it really interesting because a lot of spiritual teachers are always teaching you like, this is how you manifest. And you know, you visualize and you set your intentions and you do this and that. And actually at this time, I'm asking you to surrender. I am asking you to actually be present with what is and to sit with the discomfort. And trust me, it is there's a lot of discomfort <laughs> to go around. Um, so just sit with the discomfort, you know, and allow the emotions, which are energy emotion to flow in and out of you be present because a lot of us escape the present moment, um, by trying to spiritual bypass and positive think our way out of the situation. And that's not going to do you any good because if you are not in your body, which a lot of us are not because we don't feel safe, you need to get into your body, um, and feel to heal and sit with the discomfort because it will dissolve and it will pass. And I really recommend that you do the inner work because that's what you came here to do, right? And to allow all these things to come through and just to be present instead of dreaming up this future reality that's gonna be better than this current one, you're always gonna have you find something to escape, right? You're always gonna find something to spiritually bypass. So it's really time for us to, um, you know, face the music, so to speak, and really just kind of be with what is. And I really kind of invite you right now to be in a state of surrender. And I feel in some ways that spirit and the divine has kind of put us in this very vulnerable place with all these crazy things happening happening, these controls, these government systems, you know, these basically <laughs> biological weapons, um, uh, you know, these travel restrictions, everything that we're going through, I believe it is to test us, to, uh, to invite us to be more in our sovereignty and to say, no, enough is enough. I'm going to choose for myself. And even if it's difficult, I am going to um, speak my truth. Um, and I'm not allowing myself to be manipulated or controlled by the systems. Um, and I'm not going to be dumbed down. And I'm really going to employ my spiritual technology. Um, and I'm going to expand and grow um, and have a very spiritual life and, you know, connect the dots with all the patterns in the past, stop playing the victim. Um, you know, I'm going to stop gossiping. I'm going to stop people pleasing. I'm going to stop giving my power away. I'm going to stop being in toxic relationships. You know, um, I'm going to live my dreams. I'm going to take risks. I'm not going to live in fear, um, you know, and that's it. Really, that's what you, you came here for the great adventure. Um, and so I really recommend that you guys just really roll up your sleeves, die deep, stop bypassing, stop avoiding, stop escaping, stop with the addictions, um, you know, and really face those traumas or their wounds or, or heartbreak and use these cosmic energies to really kind of transmute and be the alchemist that you were born to be, which is to transmute lead into gold. So I really love you guys. I'm here to support you in any way I can. Renee is here with InsideJobHealing.com. Um, if you're interested in talking to me about some of my offerings and programs, I'm definitely here to help you on the Ascension path. Um, and I have a blueprint for awakening. And so um, if you're interested, my link is in my bio. Uh, grab some free time. And definitely, I look forward to continuing the conversation. I love you guys. Have a great week. Rena with InsideJobHealing.com.